And we are live. Hello, everyone. I'm Ryan Hayashi. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. It is in the evening uh, Berlin time, where I'm based in Germany. And just this morning, I posted this. A routine I call the Hayashiatic Paraboxes. Uh, it's same day. I just posted that this morning and it already got uh, several comments, one of which caught my attention. Again, thank you for all the likes, all the comments. I do read every comment. One person wrote um, the, the, the name The Angler. I don't know who this is. The Angler wrote, you are a good magician, Ryan, but what makes you really stand out, what made you really stand out on Penn & Teller was your personality. The magic drew me in, but the rants you went on about epic moments, going beast mode, and Asians doing things better were what really hooked me. I wish you would add more things like that to your magic. Because, of course, my presentation of this... Um, rather simple kitty routine was a musical presentation. I was just working on rhythm and ways of, of storytelling through expression and, and um, implied meaning. <laughs> uh, but of course, what got me is that that is not the first um, person to write exactly that comment. I've received numerous comments as I'm playing around with uh, musical short pieces that what people seem to miss is me doing my epic monologue voice. So apparently the challenge is, can Ryan spontaneously, in one take, one try, unscripted, unhinged, go into epic monologue beast mode? Challenge accepted. Let's take a look at where it all began, because I often do look at this myself just to make myself feel happy. Oh my gosh, you really are the samurai of magic, of coin magic. Feel, feel the hate, heat radiating radi radi yes. off of me right now. I am a walking fan of testosterone right now. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like zombie Bruce Lee on steroids. Wow, I don't even know how to talk to you. Oh, Alison Hannigan. So funny. She reminds me of a younger version of American comedy legend Lucille Ball. You know who people say I act and sound like? No one! That's the point! I was born in 1973. I'm 46 years old as measured in birth years. It takes decades to grow a personality this big. You guys want to see what I looked like 20 years ago when I was 26? Oh, you're going to love this. This always makes me smile. This is a mirror, you fools! Asian genetics! I did not choose this lowly immortal existence. I was born into it. And yes, I actually make you care. Got you emotionally invested in a makeup mirror covered in bubble wrap from a dollar store. Oh, can you hear that? Reach out with your feelings. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear parents across the planet watching this on YouTube, turning the volume up and telling their children to pay attention because they can sense intuitively that I am one of the rare voices on the internet who will inspire their kids to read Shakespeare, strive for a greater command of thought and language, and grow up to become smart, articulate individuals who will contribute to the advancement of human civilization and social harmony for everyone in the world. Which brings us to the spoken, spontaneous, unscripted, unhinged attempt at presenting the para boxes, Hayashi style. The spoken epic monologue para boxes. This routine has absolutely nothing to do with this. This is a happy fun ball. It's happy, it's fun. But for health and safety, you do have to follow certain basic rules. Do not eat, drink, or sleep, or allow children to play in the vicinity of happy fun ball for more than an hour at a time. And speak in soft and loving tones when in the presence of happy fun ball. 
Now, if you watch carefully, you will actually see this ball vanish on the count of, no, I haven't counted. Oh, <laughs> I fooled myself. I haven't counted yet. Happy Fun Ball is still there. I wanted to see if I could create the impression that this ball, now it's hard to fool people on video, could actually vanish into thin air as if it never existed and then move on to the high Asiatic para boxes. No other, no other handwritten signs, no classical music to make this look posh. I'm just going to pose the question, what's inside the big red box? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, apparently it's the little blue box, but what's inside? I don't even have to pose the question. People naturally want to know. And this is more fun if you haven't seen the other post yet. It's Happy Fun Ball, which actually has nothing to do with the routine. We don't need the presence of Happy Fun Ball in this routine. All right, and I'm now going to put everything back together because that, ladies and gentlemen, was my presentation of the pair of boxes. I hear people gasping through the camera lens. Um, I may have done this backwards or inside out because I am apparently colorblind. Not true at all. I just said this because I'm making up the script as I go along. Uh, we did have the big red box containing the little blue box, which means we're going to have to turn everything around. And that's as close as I get to implied logic. Why would I open this thing to show the sudden and startling reappearance of Happy Fun Ball? which we don't actually need. All right. Color coat, okay, this is the blue one which goes inside the red one and then everything makes perfect sense in the universe. The question being, can I use my unearthly Asian powers to manipulate poker games, women, and governments? The answer of course is yes. But with great power comes great responsibility and so I only use my powers for good but I sense a tremor in this box. Not really, it just, that's my justification to open and show Happy Fun Ball one more time. Leading us to the ultimate vanish. If you watch carefully, you will actually see a vanish, the likes of which have never been seen before within the organized magic world. What's that? I thought I saw a flying elephant. I was entirely wrong. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my apparent, <laughs> the, the, what simply came out of my butt as I attempted to present this raw, unhinged, unscripted, spontaneous. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the high Asiatic para boxes. The look, Elon Musk. The voice, Dwayne Johnson. The magic level, Chuck Norris meets Thanos. All right, guys, that's me just having fun <laughs> and uh, being a jackass on camera. So I wish you all a good, happy, happy. Stay safe, stay healthy. Everybody, you take care of yourselves because you are good people. Thanks for watching.